Hey guys, this is George from Garden Knox, and in this video, I'm going to give you my eight week update video on my crown of thorn propagation video. So, about eight weeks ago, I recorded a video on how to propagate a crown of thorns from a cutting. So, I'm going to depot the cutting, uh, have a look at the roots to see if this cutting was successful or not. So, just to quickly remind you how to propagate a crown of thorns in five steps step one is to get a cutting. Step two is to dry the cutting out for three to seven days to let the end callus over. Step three is to fill a pot with appropriate potting mix. So that'd be a cactus or succulent type potting mix. Step four is to plant the cutting one to one and a half inches deep in the potting mix. And then step five is to water at the start and then once again every week or as required. So here is my cutting. It's been sitting outside now for a couple of days. Now, just to take it out, I'm going to hold the pot on the side. I'll give it a little squeeze and and uh, it comes out quite easy. And as you can see, there are quite a lot of roots starting to form. Uh, this is after eight weeks of growth, uh, mainly inside in indirect light. So I'm going to repot that plant today and uh, I'm going to just leave it outside now because it's got enough roots now to be able to support itself. So now that it's repotted, I'm just going to give it another water just to help the soil or help the potting mix settle in and I'm going to leave it somewhere that it's going to get lots of sunlight, indirect light for pretty much the whole day. So as you can see, propagating a crown of thorns is very easy to do from a cutting and if you want to see how to do it from start to finish, watch this video up here.